Do I think that teachers are hatching nefarious plots to make kids look bad? Yes. Sometimes I do think that this happens. And in fact, I know it happens because I've seen it happen. As a substitute, I'm really glad that you have not seen this happen in your school. But unless you were looking at raw FBA data before it was compiled into the summary that is generally presented at IEP meetings, you probably would never even know that it's happening. And most parents wouldn't either. And like I said, I see why or how we get to this point, it's usually because a teacher doesn't have enough time to implement the proper interventions to support that child and really sees the option as trying to get them out of the class as soon as possible. And the only real way that you know that the data is being manipulated or that the situation is being manipulated is by looking at the raw data. And as someone who, that was my job to look at and analyze this FBA data, you can see when a child is being triggered purposefully or when an intervention doesn't make sense or just different things that come up in that data that like I said, if you were just to look at the summary, it looks like that child is really struggling and the teacher tried everything they could and whatever. But when you look at the raw data, you see where a child was denied access to something that they shouldn't have been denied access to or where we already have a known trigger and the teacher is doing that over and over and over again. But again, you wouldn't see that unless you looked at the raw data. Do I think that teachers are like hiding out in the corner of a dark classroom coming up with these mastermind plots of making kids look bad? No, I don't think that at all. But I do think that there are teachers out there who would rather have a child removed from their class instead of first trying to implement the right supports. I also want to add that I am very much pro teacher and pro collaboration with school teams, but I don't ever support a teacher either falsifying data or triggering a child on purpose or manipulating a situation in some way to get that child removed from the classroom. This is something that is very nuanced and very much individual and situation by situation, but I think that it's something a lot of people don't realize or know or would even think to look for within an FBA or within that data. So yeah, I, I want people to know that this happens, whether you've seen it or not as a substitute. I, like I said, I'm glad that you haven't seen it, but as a substitute, you likely aren't looking at that data.